Hello, hello. Welcome back to Hitchcock at Home. Today we are going to be making some bone and beef ribs in my Instapot. All right, we are going to start. This is a pretty simple recipe um, with our beef. So we want to pick the ones, if possible, that have just a lot of meat, a lot of marbling, and they don't have a very large bone in them. Those are the ones that are going to give you the most for your buck. We're going to have some soy sauce, ginger, garlic, honey, and some beef broth. For me, beef stock is a cooking ingredient because it always comes in these big containers, but I hardly ever use that much. So whenever I open one, I like to measure out everything into cup or half cup portions because that's usually what I end up using for a recipe. And that makes it really easy just to pull out exactly what I need today. I know I've also talked about the crushed ginger before. I really like using this just because it's really easy. This recipe is coming to you today from quarantine here in Ohio. This is week seven, eight. I actually don't know where we're at. Anyone seeing this in the future, I guarantee you remember quarantine 2020. One of the nice things about it is I have had a lot more time to cook and try out the Instapot, get really comfortable with it. First thing we're gonna do with the Instapot here is turn it on. We're going to saute, keep it on high, and we're just gonna let it go for about 15 minutes. While it's warming up, we're gonna add just a touch of canola oil. Um, not very much at all, just enough to get the bottom so the, the meat doesn't stick. It's gonna take a few minutes to warm up, so let's make our sauce right now. So the sauce we're making today is pretty simple. We have some soy sauce, sesame oil, and local honey, local being a relative term. Um, thank you, Nora, by the way. This is an opportunity for you to use either your favorite or whatever's local, support local business is always nice. Um, this particular honey came from my sister-in-law's grandparents' farm. We're also using about two tablespoons worth of ginger and about two tablespoons worth of garlic. We have about a quarter cup. We're going to use about a tablespoon. And now for our honey, we're going to use maybe about two teaspoons here also. So now because our honey is a little bit crystallized and the ginger is still frozen, I'm just going to pop this in a microwave for maybe about 30 seconds, get it all softened up, and then whisk it with a fork. And there you go. You can see the honey has dissolved a bit. We just need to get it all mixed together. Let's get this cooking. See, it's a little loud in there as you can hear. The beef is sauteing right now just to get a little bit of caramelization on the outside of the meat. Um, you might've noticed I did not put any salt in yet and that's because the soy sauce is going to provide the salt content that we need in this recipe. Adding more salt would really be a little bit too much. We can turn the meat every two to three minutes. So I started with about six beef ribs. Um, the total weight was a little bit over three pounds. Um, this is going to be after um, the shrinkage from the cooking um, and we take the bones out because again, you don't eat the bones. Um, it's going to be enough for at least four good meals. We have our beef brown now on all six sides. We have our sauce and our beef stock ready to go in also. Now we're going to use our pressure cook setting. We are going to put this on beef and high an hour 15 is going to be perfect. So it's going to preheat as we add everything in. We're getting ready to pressure cook. All of the beef fits in here beautifully. Here is our sauce. And now I'm adding the beef stock. I need to take it out of the bag, and for that, I need two hands. Next time we see this, it is going to look really different. So, short story on pressure cooking. The, the internet will give you a lot more information. Basically, the point of the pressure cooking is it increases the atmospheric pressure inside of the Instapot, and that helps cook um, some of the tougher meats a lot faster. Um, if I were to put these same beef ribs browned and put it in a slow cooker, I would expect that even on high to still be about a four hour cook time. 
Whereas in this, it's only gonna be a little over an hour. Plus you have to get the pressure built up and give it time to release. So maybe an hour and a half total. Now remember, this is very hot. We're gonna release the pressure. Once the pressure finishes releasing, we'll be able to open it up and see how the meat looks. Our beef is ready. Let's get this open. Ooh. All right, look at that. My goodness. Look at how tender this is. It is literally fall off the bone. That is not even attached. I'm so excited. But really, how amazing does this look? It is all fall off the bone tender. Just look at that. Took no effort at all. How delicious does this look? So I'm serving this up tonight as rice bowls. Making the rice bowls is really easy. So the meat is the hard part. I've got the meat. Um, I use my electric rice cooker for the rice. I know it's a unitasker, but it does a really great job. Um, and then I have some runny eggs and green onions and just a touch of sesame seeds. Of course, all of that is completely optional. You can do just the rice and the meat. You're gonna have an absolutely delicious meal. Thank you so much for watching Hitchcock at Home. I hope you have a great time when you do eventually try this recipe. It's going to be worth it, I promise. Um, if you have any questions, have any comments, please comment below. Hit the subscribe button, and I will see you again real soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.